This is the ultimate guide to a set of course of photos. So starting off, the first thing which is want to do is, where is it? Here in, so in content manager, go to settings, a set of course system. You want this allow free cam checked, but all but mode for F5 camera off. Um, and for higher qualities, you also want this on PNG. Because if you're putting like files into Discord, if they're a JPEG, the compress loads. So having them as a PNG keeps them higher quality. Um, but now that you've done that, um, I'll, I'll just assume that you've got your settings already done. Um, but coming over to Drive, you want to get your car and your map. I'll be using a uh, photographing map. Um, it's quite nice. Uh, I'll put up photos that I've took on it before. It's just a Ferrari photo that I've took on it. But now, loading into it, you want to think what sort of photos do I want to take? So you can see one here. This one's quite nice. So you might think, oh, I might want to take one like this. I might want to take one like that. But even if you can't think of one uh, while you're loading in, even if you just move about with your camera. Uh, where is it? Uh, so like I can go into replay. Uh, F5. And then this is what this has done. So I can go into a free cam. And it's better than the other one. Because this one uses WASD. And it's much slower. And you can go even slower with it. So now I'm looking around, thinking, what f sort of photos can I take? Like, one like this might be quite nice. So I'll hide driver. You might be able to hear me, computer, sorry if you can. Um, this will be quite nice. So turn your FOV down, that's your zoom. You want to change your... Um, your focus you want to check this also in settings um for rolling shots which i might show you later i might not uh, you want this to be checked because if not if you put shutter speed on it'll be quite laggy not not laggy like the, your car will be blurry so with this it'll have it focused on your car if it's only you driving or the closest car to the camera and that just makes it so that it's not blurry or anything. So getting this all lined up. You can change your f-stop. This is your amount of blur. I think it's f-stop. Depth of field, same thing. So I've got mine on 8. Um, so you can mess with these a bit. This is what I'd usually change. You can do this if you'd like to. It just makes like creamish stuff whiter like you can see here on this in this wall when i click it it makes them whiter um same with everything that's sort of white um you can also change the time of day it's like if you want like a sunrise if i can find that or even a nighttime shot's quite nice this sunset sort of shot like this this would work. So now you just click make shot. It renders it for you. And it will put it into a folder. There. So view in folder. Where is it? Uh, this one? No. Uh, here it is. So this has come out quite nice, um, and say you take a vertical photo, so I'll just do one quick for you. Um, turn the FOV down to move. So if you want, oh that's one thing, uh, if you move around like with the roll it bugs out, so then you have to press down right click and it 
lets you move and then arrow keys but it's really fast but if you want to slow your speed down you can hold right shift or left shift whichever's better for you um there's no up and down as far as i know well, there is on when you first pressed f5 oh i've got that back uh so if you press right click it'll do this because that's the original purpose for that um So this is like an aggressive sort of shot. So I change the zoom to be focused on the front section of the car. I've got my shot speed done still. I've got my corrections done still. Um, you, this auto white balance is personal preference. Um, but I use natural the normal one. Um, there's also Premier, Premier whatever you want to call it, just this. Um, there's Pure, which, do, do I have Pure on? I guess I do. Um, but all of this is your preference. There's AC Aura, which is, it's too vibrant for me. Um, I've got this one, another one with, oh, that's, that one's quite nice. Um, but with your filter, that's fully your preference. So now I'll do make shot. Um, the ETA depends on how good your system is sometimes. Might might not, it just depends. Uh, there, there it is. Now this will be like this normally. Um, to fix this, uh, I'm not sure if you can do it straight through here. Oh, you can. Can you? Oh, you can. Oh. So that's saved as this now. So. Uh, wait, am I not? Oh, I'm not. Uh, so I'll put it into this Discord. I don't know what it is. Um, so you just drag it into here, press enter. It will be quite big, but um, right now in Discord, they're letting you do up to 25 megabytes for each file, I think. Um, but if they change that, I'm not really sure how to make them smaller. But that's how you uh, take better photos in a set of Corsa. Um, this is my first tutorial sort of video. So if there's any tips that you could give us, this is all no script, no anything, um, unlike me, other two videos, which I've used a script. Um, if there's anything that you need help with, send us a message on Discord. Uh, but that, uh, there's my Discord, I'll put it below as well. Um, put a message in the comments if you need help. Um, give us feedback on this video. I know it's not going to be great. It's not going to be having the best production quality. I'm not using my proper microphone because it's just, oh, here's a quick idea. I might as well try this. Um, but if you want to see more stuff like this, let us know more. Um, a sort of course of help stuff, I guess. Let us know, give us ideas for videos. That'd be lovely. Um, but thanks for watching.